so we just got you in the car. You look amazing. All right, Lily, you ready to go home now? How'd it go? He was excited for you. He's going to be calling us in a few hours. guys so it's been five hours since my surgery it's been three hours since i've been home and i wanted to let you know stop rolling your eyes i did not roll it's my so eyes. not nice okay you're like hayden you're literally I'm not anyways, doing anything. anyways i wanted to let you know that um one of my biggest fears was actually going under and they were, I'm going to tell you how it went. So they were asking me a bunch of questions. And I'm saying all this because I may not remember this conversation, to be 100% honest. So I was, they were asking me a bunch, bunch of questions and then I went under. And it's not like, poof, you're awake. And, you know, you, on the surgery table, like they, they did wake me up, but I don't remember any of that. And I don't remember them putting band-aids on me. And I barely remember them putting my shirt back on. Um, by the way, I got a lift, right? You guys know that. Um, but I'm going to tell you the first thing I remember saying. And I am like, what is wrong with me? They were putting on my shirt. And here's what I said. Should we take a video? What? Like, what is wrong with me? That is influencer problems. 101. Anyways, they did a great job so far. I have no idea what I'm looking at yet. Um, but I'll be changing my band-aids soon. That's all I love you. Mm -hmm. This is day three. Um, I had a lift, slight reduction, a little bit of lipo, and drainless. So I want you guys to know some important things. Drainless is really important because um, having the drains in there, I think, can cause some scarring. However... However, it is messy AF, okay? This shower has seen a lot of things that I don't think it ever intended to see. <laughs> My husband, I couldn't have, look at all those shorts. Like, look at all those shorts because I am draining so badly. And I've got two pairs of shorts on right now. Um, but it's really important to wear your compression and garments after surgery because, and this is what I've learned, your skin will attach back to your muscle better and smoother. And this could be a myth. I'm not a doctor. I'm just going to go ahead and lay that out there. Um, <clears throat> but it's important to have compression right now. Okay. Um, but it is messy. And bless, you need somebody. You need two people sometimes. Like my mother is a nurse. Thank God for her. And my husband's amazing. So Two of them have been super duper helpful. I don't know how I would have done this without them, honestly. Um, this is my bedroom. I'm gonna show y'all that. Here you go, now, my little buddy. And blankets, blankets, blankets. This thing I got off of Amazon was amazing. I'll put it in my Amazon store. I'm gonna put everything that I used in my Amazon store. Um, we brought this little cart in just for extra supplies. I got my meds. I got this little table here. I've been able to get up and down by myself, um, after the first day. Whew. Don't, I mean, this, don't judge me right now. Don't even judge me. But I didn't have an ass and now I feel like I kind of have an ass. Anyways, um, I've been eating 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 cabbage okay because of the meds and the anesthesia you have a problem going to the bathroom so highly recommend that you eat lots of cabbage all right friends i am five days post-op okay this i don't think i was ever really able to zip this zipper up and i'm really excited about what's going on here okay um, I got a lift, some lipo, and <clears throat> I'm going to tell you all some things that have made my experience so much better, okay? 
Um, these pads right here, you need them. This right here, just don't ask. Just get it. Just, just go ahead and get it. A plethora of um, compression garments. Lots of comfy <sighs> blankets. This thing I got on Amazon. This is, you put it around your head and then you put yourself on there. I have not used that yet. Um, but this thing has been great because I've been able to adjust everything. Okay. Uh, meds. This is wound vite i came highly recommended i don't know the results yet i'm taking some d3 and k2 got some um painkillers here which are awful because i hate the way they make me feel so i can't wait to get off of those and then one of the most important things is some sun some little bit of natural vitamin d right here so I've been sitting out here when I can. What else? Cabbage. Again. <sighs> For reasons I would rather not discuss. But it is due to the anesthesia and the pain meds. Oh. Should work. It's good for swallowing and such. Sorry, I can barely lift my arms up there. Whew. Now, I don't know if y'all can tell this, but I will take this off. I do have some bruising. Like that's all from lipo and I have this kind of throughout my entire body right now. Um, this part actually doesn't hurt at all, which is shocking to me. You're not supposed to lift too much though, okay? Like I shouldn't even be moving my arms this much right now. All right. That is day five. This is the first time I've actually showered, put some makeup on, and I've got like a sweatsuit on. That's other than that, it's okay to just be in your bed, laying down, and no makeup, hair a mess, just wearing your compression garments. Like, don't feel bad about it. It has taken me a little five, six days to get to this point. And I haven't even washed my hair yet, so. But I have showered. <sighs> Anyways, all right, I'll be back. What's up, y'all? I know I look like, holy hell. But it has been seven days since my surgery, and this is actually the best I've ever felt. Thank God. I am no longer taking any pain meds. Um, everything feels really good. And I'm gonna shower and do my hair. I'm gonna still try not to lift my arms up too high because I did have the lift. Um, but I did kind of wanna show you guys what was going on here. And then I'm gonna show you guys also that I can clean up myself, 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 uh, myself. I promise I don't look like a hobo at all times. But I'm not gonna show you the lift, obviously. This is not OnlyFans. But if you want me to start an OnlyFans so I can make some of that bank. Let me know. I really need to fix my light. <clears throat> I just need to charge it. That's what I need to do. Okay. Are you ready? I am extra bruisy. I'm going to go ahead and let you know. I am bruisy. But look at this. <sighs> now, remember, I had just had these things on, so it's going to look a little kind of wobbly here. Feels numb. I could barely touch my skin. Um, but it feels good, y'all. It feels good. I have some hips. And this is only one week out. I am getting, I hired somebody to do lymphatic massage. 
she literally this is what she does she she comes to your house and she works on you on patients that just did like so she is all about the lymphatic massage and all these other things to make you look smooth as can be so i'll be, be keeping you guys posted on that let me shower because i look disgusting i'm i've got my hair and makeup done i'm starting to look like a normal person i washed my hair feeling real good um yeah i'm super excited about this i'm gonna keep you guys posted just my tip of the day would be compression 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 wear those compression com uh, garments it is super duper important when i can barely breathe it's so tight <laughs> but it's super important uh in the healing process okay you're also going to be very like full of fluid even in my face like my face feels like i'm like oh my god so the lymphatic massage is really gonna help get that fluid out let's get started here